Okay, we're given a number 20 that the perimeter of a rectangle is 36 yards. And it says the width is 18 yards less than twice the length. And so the question is asking us to find the length and the width. Uh, so first, we need to talk about what kind of equation is being used for a perimeter. So the perimeter of a rectangle, if you don't know what it is, let's just draw it out. Let's draw a visual and we can get our equation off of the picture itself. Now it says the width is 18 yards less than twice the length. Okay, now the, this part right here, this depends on, the, the width depends on the length. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put length here, so L for length. And it says the width is, okay, so let's go ahead and put that, I'm gonna put that here instead. Width is 18 yards less than twice the length. The word less than means you gotta switch the order and the way it's displayed there in the expression. So twice the length and then 18 yards less than that. So here's our expression for the width. Our width is 2L minus 18. 18 less than twice the uh, length. All right. So, right here, normally I would have W, but instead I'm going to go ahead and put in 2L minus 18 because then that way I have everything all in terms of the same variable. Okay, so how do we find the perimeter? We add all this all the way around. So I have 2L minus 18 plus L plus 2L minus 18 plus L. All that's got to equal 36. So notice all I did was I just went, went around the drawing and just added all that around. Remember that every single side has to have an expression. Notice we're adding four sides together here. Now it's just a matter of adding the like terms together. You have 2L, an L, 2L, and an L. So I get, if I add all that together, I get 6L. Minus 18, minus 18, more like terms, I get minus 36 equals 36. I'm going to add 36 to both sides, and I get 6L is equal to 72, and I want to divide both sides by 6. So you're, the answer we're going to get here, we get the length first, and the length is 12. Let's put that here. This is 12 yards. And then we have to find out what the width is, but we already have an expression for that we found earlier. So width is going to be 2 times 12 minus 18. And so we get 24 minus 18, and that's going to be 6. So now we'll put 6 right here. So the width is 6 yards, the length is 12 yards. Your length should always be more than the width. So if you end up finding that your, your length is shorter, that means you switch the variables. Make sure you switch your answer. The length should be the longer one.